I think God put you in that situation so you could learn. No, but I was, I was, I'm always a kind person. Like, I know, I know, I know. Like if you had to call me up, anybody calls me up for help, but it calls me up for help, I'd be like, ask me right now. Like, you call me for help, even if you need cash to work. If you owed me from a long time, I'd ask you, okay, where's my cash? Maybe I don't need it, but it's out of respect. You need to pay a little bit of time, my friends. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if you need help, I'm not going to ask you if you don't have the cash. Where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? I'm going to do it for free. I've been that. Uh, I've been that. You understand? Uh, I'm going to give it to you. Because you know why? You're in, you in, you in help. You need. If you're in an emergency situation. Emergency situation. Yes. And you know me. It's not like someone that's randomly that doesn't know me just going to call me up and say, ah, I'm, I don't have I money. need you like, yeah, 100%. I don't know you. I yeah. know who the fuck you are. Yeah, like, sure. I'm not going to help you if I don't know who the fuck you are. Maybe... No, like, I don't know you. Yeah, sure. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're going to use the money for. Mm. Like, if I know you, and I know you in, in trouble, like, I've seen you around. You know what I mean? I know you. You like, know me personally. Not even personally. Like, I just know who sure, you are. Sure. You know what I mean? Mm. Not just some random person just calling me up and saying, hey, I need some help. Or someone messaging me randomly and just being like, hey, you know what, I'm in fault. And then I knew you from, like, fucking six years ago. No, fuck that. I'm not gonna help you. Mm. You know what I mean? I've helped a lot of people in my life, bro. Yeah. I have I have a lot of people in my life. Many people don't like to acknowledge it. Mm. But I've helped a lot of people in my life. I think uh, people generally don't like to acknowledge that. After, I really don't care, you know why? It, you know, it's not a service to them, it's a service to me and 100%. God. But, you know, after people have uh, made it in life, they be like, oh, fuck this guy. I don't give a shit about it. I know he helped me like last year. I don't give a fuck about it. Because I have made it now. And I do not need anybody now. Yeah. I do not need anybody's help now. And then you start adding, actually adding them to the people. That is the wrong way. That is the wrong way about it. Because you know why? One day you're going to fall on your feet again. And the only person that's going to help you is the person that helped you before. But then you treated him with the arrogance that you want to do. You think the person going to help you? With me, yes. Partially, maybe. I'm actually. I wouldn't. I'm actually like not sure whether I would help you. It more. depends on the situation. Why I don't you was hundred percent. You know, I know a lot of people. There are probably about twenty people that I helped in my life. Yeah. I think they made it in life, and yeah, probably about twenty people. I think they made it in life. Don't talk to me anymore. Doesn't even appreciate the help that I. Yeah. I don't keep, I don't even mention their names. I'm just saying to any people 100%. because I fluctuate in the numbers. It could be more, could be less. Fluctuate in the numbers because I don't want to make it a thing. You understand? It's not me doing something so that I can get good service because I'm doing it for myself. It, it, there's just something about giving. It helps your soul. It will help, bro. It just it helps, helps your soul, bro. So much, bro. It just, helps, much, soul. Bruh. It just mm-hmm. helps your soul. Now, me, even when I borrow stuff. For me, for me, it's like an ethic for me. If I borrow from you to pay it back, I would I make know sure you. I pay I know you to you. send back. I know you. I know you. I'll I pay. You. If I tell you, I'll pay you the Saturday. I make sure to the cent I pay it back. I I won't, oh, I tell you, okay, I'm gonna pay you uh, two hundred. I'm gonna pay you two hundred. I will never forget to pay. No. I will make sure I pay my debt. Mm. That is the type of person I am. Even though you will tell me, don't worry about it. I will give it to you regardless whether you this thing because in my heart I know I cannot be indebted to this person because that's how I am. You understand? Even today I went to Honcho's just before I could come see you. Honcho, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, brand anyway. So I think the same guy that you gave uh, a couple bucks to. Yeah. The same guy he came up to me like hey, or some. So I had my uh, sales money of whatever I sold today. Like so I'm like if I'm the guy. Give this guy like a attendant uh, now and then lose it on, on my sales. And I'm like, he gave you so much. Can you just help him out too? Yes. Let me be kind towards it. Yeah. I took some yeah. and I gave it to you. was so happy. Bro. Yeah. You're so happy. You know why? At the so end of the day, bro. you think so about it like this. You had a good day. That person have may day. have not had a good day. You didn't have nothing maybe today. Today. Maybe you never had yeah. eaten today. Yeah. You didn't even a great service. 
to just to see a smile on his face. The money that I gave him, maybe is the only money that he had today. Yeah. 100%. Exactly. Now, it doesn't mean that tomorrow you won't make money. That means you have to work harder so you can make other people smile. There's just something about helping other people. Mm, sure. I mean, you have more than enough There's something about that you sold. Yeah, you know, yeah. you made from your sales mm. today. You have more than enough. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? You have your own business. You make more than enough just for the day. Just pay a little to someone who doesn't have that much. <clears throat> That's the way I think. I don't know. Some people are just like I try to teach as many of my friends as possible that way. Mm. Regardless, even if the person is smoking and I know the person is smoking, it's not my duty to think, hey, this person's gonna use my money to smoke. No, fuck that. Because you know why? I gave him the money. Regardless whether he smokes with it or not, I did my duty as a human being to help another mm-hmm. human. Regardless what he does with it, that's his That's his endeavor. My great gracefulness I gave him my uh, my money, no, food, whatever the case it is. We understand what you say. I don't need to worry what action he does with it. You don't need to. If you do that, then it's not it's not giving. You have done your your good deed. Yes, you have done your good deed. Because it's it's, it's nothing it's, more. It's after like that. in the sense like when you give offering to church, do you ask the pastor what he did with the money? <laughs> never ever. You understand what I mean? Never ever. You don't ask the pastor what you, he did with the money? So why you never. should I ask the man what, whether he's going to use it for drugs or what he should do with his money? True. I'm giving him an offering. Mm. You know what I mean? You never It's the well. exact same thing. Yes, 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 yes. Why do I have a double standard when it comes to someone who's thing, you know, who's, who's in church and who's not in church? 100%. 100%. Why do I have a double standard? I don't have a double standard. 100%. You understand? I don't have to worry about what the fuck that person is doing with that money. Mm. I did my duty as well. You did your duty. Even if he goes and spend that whole hundred land on drugs, you have done your duty as a human being. Being? Yes. It's not that I'm supporting his. his 100%. Habits. I'm support. I gave him with the good intentions. You think about it and say, okay. You don't know that he has a drug addiction or whatever everyone is you don't know or everyone hundred percent yes 100%. you're not seeing the person that's doing it in a truck bro so so many like uh beggars or whatever don't even do drugs none of them even do like alcohol bro some of them are just like honest like <laughs> beggars who just need to like eat food how do you judge people like that you can't you can't judge people like that it's just wrong hundred percent and it's been this time here yeah, with, with COVID and everything. You know how difficult it is. It's actually it's actually very difficult. It's very difficult. Because there's no one in the streets anymore and you're just sitting there all alone and then just think about that. What if I was in that situation? That I put myself in that situation. Hundred percent. You put yourself in that specific situation. And even if he's he's doing drugs, imagine if he didn't take that drugs. It would have put him into withdrawal symptoms. How would that would have made him feel when he doesn't have food, he doesn't have water to treat himself, everything. He doesn't have a bathroom to take care of himself. He doesn't have a comfortable place to sleep. How would the withdrawal symptoms attack him? You feel like you, you are going you to die. You understand what I mean? Yeah. You, you feel like you're going to you're die. You're going to die. Yeah. Like, I don't want that man to feel like that. Yeah, true. It's better that he just uses it, whatever he needs to use it, just, just to get his mind off the fact that he is, you know what? 100%. Otherwise, if I do, if, if just, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it, or this is a justification of why I wouldn't do it, but suppose I didn't give him the money, or no one gave him that day, what would the man do? He would do everything in his possible to eat, isn't it? That's when, that's when you get thieves, you get robbers, people stealing purses. Why? Because they want to eat. They want to find some money to eat. Yeah. It's not, nobody just suddenly just thinks, okay, let's just, Hijack or steal this person's purse for fun. Every situation. You understand? It's a heavy situation. Crime situation. is not a fun thing to do. 100%. Nobody wants to choose a line of crime. I'm sure these guys who uh who like robbing the cash money uh, what's this thing called? Chucks. You know why? Because yeah. they have a record previously when they were poor that they had to do stuff so they have a record of these things. So they can't get a job. So then they have to join gangs and get stuff and get stuff because if they do one of those then they don't have to do it for like the next six seven eight seven nine nine months whatever and then they do it again i know it's heavy but 
think about it, if you eradicate the poverty in this country, then we wouldn't have crime. We would have less crime. We wouldn't have. That's the thing I'm telling you. If everyone had a home, you wouldn't have crime. And if everyone had a job, you wouldn't have crime. 100%. Yeah, true. You would have, you would have mis mischievous uh, actions, like people doing stupid things. Stupid things. Yeah. And giving us sure. stupid yes, things yes, yes. like fighting and yes. and you know not people just randomly walking up to you and just pulling your bag and running away or mm -hmm. trying to trying yes. to trying to trying to rob you and stuff. Yeah. I understand it's traumatic to rob me. I've got robbed. You've got robbed before. If we had to eradicate that that part of it, we wouldn't have that. We would have a, like a fight where we could just walk away. We have a choice to walk away. We're not going to close the podcast. No, we are. We're not. We're not. <laughs>